So, you'd like to unlock the push dagger in Warzone or Vanguard. In this video, I'm going to be showing you three different ways we can unlock the push dagger. The first method, which is going to cost you 1600 COD points, is buying it from the store. So, if you have 1600 COD points at hand and fancy buying it in the store, then crack on. You get a few other items included, such as tier skip, a calling card, and uh, yeah, 600 points, that's going to cost you. And our next option is Vanguard Multiplayer. The requirement in multiplayer is to get 5 melee kills with a primary weapon in a single match 15 times. For this, I'd recommend using an assault rifle with the bayonet option as the underbarrel. In this example, I've used a Cooper Carbine. Here are the attachments I've used. I've basically built it for mobility so we can run around the map quicker and charge at people with the bayonet. Unfortunately, when you have the 5 kills with your primary weapon, you have to finish the match. I did leave after five kills and it didn't class towards the tally so you will have to remain of course as always i recommend doing this in ship house this is because it's close quarters and you can get this task done quite easy these are the perks that i recommend using to complete the challenge these perks were helping speed taking less damage and tracking enemies remember these are just my recommendations and you might find other perks to be more helpful than these and our next option is Vanguard Zombies, where the challenge is to get 100 melee kills while shrouded with your Aether Shroud. This is the method that I use to unlock the dagger. I found it the easiest and the quickest, so I'd recommend doing this option. So let's make sure we're set up correctly for the Zombies match. We need to make sure we have a melee weapon selected. I'd recommend the Sawtooth. And then make sure that Aether Shred is also selected in the Artifacts. So essentially what we want to do is raise this little bar here so it's full. Once the bar is full, it gives us access to the Aether Shred. To raise the bar, just simply keep continuing to kill Zombies. Here is an example of how Aether Shred works. Once activated, this basically makes us invisible to Zombies. The ability can be upgraded with sacrificed hearts all we do is go to the tomb of rituals and use our sacrificed hearts on the abilities given to us the last ability gives us the option to have two charges rather than one the map I recommend using is Shi Nu Numa. The method I found most useful was unlocking the dig site and purchasing the shotgun that's on the wall from there just keep farming zombies until you raise your ability bar you also want to think about upgrading your weapons, so upgrading the shotgun and also your melee weapon. When you get above wave 7, the melee weapon takes 2 hits to kill a zombie rather than just 1. But if the melee weapon is upgraded, it only takes 1, so keep this in mind. When you have enough resources to craft one, get a stun grenade once thrown. This will stun the zombies and keep them in one place. So here is an example of how I farmed the Aether Shroud kills. Throw your stun grenade. Activate your Aether Shroud and then run at them swinging. Remember, while this is activated, the zombies can't attack you as they can't see you. Just keep running about and bashing zombies. Remember, you'll need to get 100 kills like this and it can be done in one game. And that's pretty much it. It's just rinse and repeat until you get 100 kills like so. Although at the start of the video I did say there was three ways of unlocking it, there is obviously Warzone with Plunder and Caldera Clash. But I do think this would be too difficult to unlock as a lot of people are camping, the map's massive and it would be very hard to get close to enemies. If you do somehow manage to complete it in Warzone then fair play, hats off to you. But my recommendation would be Vanguard Multiplayer or Vanguard Zombies. And that's concluding my guide on how to unlock the push dagger in Vanguard. If the video has helped, then drop a like and also please consider subscribing. That would be greatly appreciated. If you have any questions about unlocking the dagger, drop it in the comment section below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Thank you all so much for watching and have an amazing day.